Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Today, well, actually, the day's over. We are done with the day right now, but we started filming earlier. We just didn't do an introduction stuff, so let's just get at it. Today, we are in Grant, Florida, which is south of Melbourne and north of Sebastian Inlet. Uh, place that I really kind of grew up, started me saltwater fishing. We're spending a little time over there today, eat some lunch over there. We're not staying the night or anything, but we came over here to fish this morning, see if we can find some uh, mullet schools. The mullet run's supposed to be in full effect right now. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and show you some of the footage that we shot today, and I hope you enjoy it. Right here. Yes. things going on at once. Oh, one just jumped out. One just jumped. Oh, that's a jack. No, it's not. Oh, baby snook. Look at that. That is a keeper, though. I am close. Look at it. Are you recording? Yes. A baby Jack. All right, I got this. Put it down. Hey everybody, we are back with you today. We are uh, out here, it's October 10th, 2020. We are out for the fall mullet run. We are in Grant, Florida. Uh, weather man lied to us today with the forecast even at 4.30 this morning. They said we we're gonna get a couple hours of rain about two o'clock. But uh, so we went ahead and made the trip over here. As soon as we unload the boat, rain. That's what it is around us right now. All rain. So we're gonna patch in, see what we can get. We've already caught a few jacks and stuff. Um, looking for some snook, looking for some reds. What you got there, son? Man, we are catching Jack Cravels like crazy today. 
Put on in. Show it up. Yeah. It's a stain looking one. All right, let's put them down so they don't get blood all blood. Woods is eating these and then he got a fish on. What is it? What is it? Beautiful trout. Oh wow, that Look how beautiful that thing is. We got trout for dinner. Look at them teeth on that. That thing will bite the snot out of you. Good morning everybody. So we have stopped fishing for the day pretty much. Uh, did pretty well. Um, I wanted to take a little bit of time and show you this place. We, uh, I've been fishing here probably, well I know the majority of my life. I think the first time I was over here I was three years old. I remember I just started off just fishing off the dock and as we got older and older you know, we had a little john boat, a little john boat with a small motor on it we could use. And, Wade fish around the island, come back with redfish and all that stuff before I even knew what redfish was. But uh, kind of where you get your roots and how to do stuff and my introduction to saltwater fishing pretty much was right here. Uh, when I was at home, because we live in central Florida, we we're bass fishing, doing all that kind of stuff was this place. And it's not much at all. I mean, it's kind of run down, little fishing cabin stuff, but um, and this was kind of what we had to come to and we would use it as a vacation or spring break or something like that. Now people have pretty much started buying these up and then they build houses like that. So you can see it's probably not much longer and this place will be history and someone will build a mini mansion like that. But it's, it's sad to see those childhood memories go. Uh, like I said, where I started learning how to fish and do all the stuff that I do today that I'm trying to show Mason. But uh, I think in the past we have to move onward and upward. Uh, you can see this is when this place was first uh, first developed. I think it was in the 50s. Uh, you could buy these lots for well back then it was a lot of money I'm sure, but I think they bought the lots for like $1,500 and then the houses were just little fish camps whatever they could throw together you can see a couple of them over there about the same condition people started buying them now and just tearing them down basically and rebuilding them into the other ones um, but i want to say there's probably maybe 50 homes 60 homes out here on the island and maybe about 15 of those residents are full time show you like an aerial view of it but it's in Grant Valrica is where it's at it used to be really good grass flats out here or something like that and over the years pollution and everything it's just kind of killed this grass off and the fishing has suffered since then too but kind of want to give you all a glimpse of this place check it out I'll put up some aerials so you can look around and see where it's at and location and stuff like that
this wraps up our fishing trip for today. I hope y'all really liked 2020 Motor Run. It was amazing. So, I hope y'all like and subscribe down below, and we'll see y'all next time.